July 24th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 83 and 84 from the Old Testament. O God, do not be silent. Do not ignore us. Do not be inactive, O God. For look, your enemies are making a commotion. Those who hate you are hostile. They carefully plot against your people and make plans to harm the ones you cherish. They say, come on, let's annihilate them so they are no longer a nation. Then the name of Israel will be remembered no more. Yes, they devise a unified strategy. They form an alliance against you. It includes the tents of Edom and the Ishmaelites, Moab and the Hagrites, Gebel, Ammon and Amalek, Philistia and the inhabitants of Tyre. Even Assyria has allied with them, lending its strength to the descendants of Lot, Selah. Do to them as you did to Midian, as you did to Sisera and Jabin at the Kishon River. They were destroyed at Endor. Their corpses were like manure on the ground. Make their nobles like Oreb and Zeb, and all their rulers like Zeba and Zalmana, who said, Let's take over the pastures of God. O oh my God, make them like dead thistles, like dead weeds blown away by the wind, like the fire that burns down the forest, or the flames that consume the mountainsides. Chase them with your gale winds and terrify them with your windstorm. Cover their faces with shame so they might seek you, O Lord. May they be humiliated and continually terrified. May they die in shame. Then they will know that you alone are the Lord, the sovereign King over all the earth. How lovely is the place where you live, O Lord, who rules over all. I desperately want to be in the courts of the Lord's temple. My heart and my entire being shout for joy to the living God. Even the birds find a home there, and the swallow builds a nest, where she can protect her young near your altars. O Lord, who rules over all, my King and my God, how blessed are those who live in your temple and praise you continually. Selah. How blessed are those who find their strength in you and long to travel the roads that lead to your temple. As they pass through the back of valley, he provides a spring for them. The rain even covers it with pools of water. They are sustained as they travel along. Each one appears before God in Zion. O Lord, sovereign God, hear my prayer. Listen, O God of Jacob. Selah. O God, take notice of our shield. Show concern for your chosen king. Certainly spending just one day in your temple courts is better than spending a thousand elsewhere. I would rather stand at the entrance to the temple of my God than live in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is our sovereign protector. The Lord bestows favor and honor. He withholds no good thing from those who have integrity. O Lord, who rules over all, how blessed are those who trust in you. God, I love the, the mention of all of those places in that first psalm. Uh, Midian and Sisera and Jabin and Oreb and Zeb and, and all of those. Almighty armies that would easily defeat, slaughter, destroy Israel. Easily, by man's perspective. Um, bigger, more equipped, more money, more everything than Israel. And then we add you to the equation. <laughs> With God, all things are possible. And you defeated them. You defeated all of those places. All of those armies. But it is only with you in that equation that there was success. And it was only with you in that equation that you were glorified. And it was only with you in that occasion that man learned that by himself he couldn't do things, but only when he relied on you and gave you control. Now, those aren't the only examples in the Bible, obviously, of your amazing sovereignty. Um, but I love how in the middle of the psalm, such powerful examples of, of insurmountable odds for Israel coming up against something that they couldn't see any way around, any way through, any way over, under. There was no possibility of winning. And yet, with God, they did. God, I ask you today to come alongside of us and remind us of this. 
I have no doubt everyone listening to this video right now is dealing with something like that in their lives. Whether it's the possibility of losing someone in their lives, losing a job, losing financial security, choosing the same sin over and over again. There's so many insurmountable odds out there that, that we just think that we have no ability to overcome and we really don't by ourselves. But these stories in the Bible are just amazing reminders that with you, all things are possible. Not 99%, but all things are possible. God, remind us and help us remember today and all days that truly with you, all things are possible. That when we can't see a way out, when everything is dark, when our frustration, our anger, our agitation is, is hitting high levels, that if we stop and pray and bring you into that equation, we can overcome anything that is of your will. God, thank you for letting us tap into that power and allow us to put that situation at your feet and for you to come in and deal with it and handle it and make it right again. God, we seek your will today and we know that we can't do your will without you. And God, we just ask for that strength today and that desire to please you. In your son's name we pray, amen.